There comes a time in most everyone's build where they become limited by their tools. It happens at different stages for everyone. Some things people trust themselves to do, and some things they hire a machinist to do. On any given day, these guys are busy doing full engine rebuilds and long block assemblies. They were kind enough to let me in with the big camera to shoot the machining I needed performed for my parts. I'm doing the final assembly because I've done it enough times to trust myself, but I rely on their assistance wherever my tools fall short. Today we're going to install a Kigley main bearing girdle in a 6 bolt 4G63 turbo block. Those of you who watched the parts video heard me talk about this thing already. I recommended that anyone using this part follow the manufacturer's instructions closely for installing it, because doing it wrong can cause catastrophic problems. Doing it right can make your block dang near bulletproof. For best results, whenever you install a part that alters the mains, you should have your block line honed to true up the mains. We're also going to clean up the bearing surfaces and give them a little texture for the bearings to stick to. If you don't get this right, you can cause yourself a lot of headaches after the first startup. In most 4G series 6 bolts, you need to grind parts of the block to make clearance for the main girdle. On my particular block, there are two protrusions at the rear of the crankcase that interfere with this bearing girdle's alignment. The solution for this is simple. Just grind those bumps off with a carbide burr until nothing is touching the girdle. Some people grind them off entirely, but it's not necessary to grind them flush with the block. You grind off just past where the girdle ends and make sure it doesn't make any contact. A little breathing room helps in this case. On some 6 bolt G4 series Hyundai blocks, the ends of the girdle have plenty of room, but the sides of the crankcase interfere with it. Keep an eye on that if you're using this part on a Hyundai block. Once this is fitted, in order to line bore the block you need to torque down the mains to the pressure recommended for the fasteners you're using. ARP main bolts are mandatory for the Kigley main bearing girdle. You have to use them. So if you're doing what I'm doing, the torque is 60 foot-pounds when you use ARP molly lube. You have to have fasteners that you're using on the build torque to their final build spec so that the bolts and the caps are stretched properly. Before the honing process begins, measurements are taken to determine where we're at with the hole size and if any are tight or loose, or if there's run out across the bearing journal faces. Based on this, the machinist estimates how much time to spend removing material with the honing stones. This type of line hone applies even pressure all the way across the mains, ensuring an equal amount of material is removed. After a short pass, check the main journals to see how much is removed and how they compare to their neighboring journals. If the spec is too wide, the bearings won't receive the proper crush and the caps could need to be shaved to tighten the hole back up again. If the holes are too tight for the crank you're using, it can be line bored and line honed to bring it back within spec. If you're installing the Kigley main girdle, that's what needs to be done. Good luck pulling that one off at home. We're going to move on and finish up the mains now, so stay tuned. 